they've got nothing. That's what we just witnessed for the last hour. Uh, one of their witnesses has been indicted for working with Russian intelligence. Another witness All right. uh, has been indicted uh, for working We're going to pull away from there. You saw that this is the uh, oversight the committee. Though. Obviously, Democrats are in the minority on this committee. So that was Fox News' is Harris Faulkner cutting away from Congressman Eric Swalwell after they had Hunter Biden on Capitol Hill today to testify in front of the House Oversight Committee. Notice right as Swalwell says that Republicans have got nothing in terms of evidence Fox, of course, cuts away. But not everyone on Fox had the same tune today, and some, shockingly, are even dabbling with facts and reality, admitting that there is literally no evidence that links Joe Biden to any crimes, let alone high crimes and misdemeanors that rise to impeachable offenses. So as you know, Republicans' star witness in their impeachment scam, Alexander Smirnoff, was indicted for lying to the FBI. Then it came out subsequently that he was essentially getting his information that he was feeding to the FBI about Hunter Biden from Russia, which should be surprising. But at this point, Russia is the unofficial sponsor of the Republican Party. Now, here's what Doug Ducey had to say today, who co-hosts Fox and Friends, trying to do the normal, rational thing and simply state the facts of this case, which are that there is literally nothing that ties Joe Biden to any criminal activity at all. So this is coming at a critical moment for the Republicans' impeachment inquiry. And on Capitol Hill, a lot of Republican lawmakers say they have seen zero evidence of high crimes and misdemeanors. And right now, the Republicans do not have enough votes to impeach. And after dozens of interviews and over 100,000 documents released to the committees, uh, the Republicans have yet to produce any direct evidence of misconduct by Joe Biden. Someone attempting to do some semblance of news on Fox, there is no evidence whatsoever of any criminal wrongdoing by Joe Biden. Republicans have literally put absolutely nothing forward tying Joe Biden to anything criminal. But Ducey's co-host didn't like hearing that. I think there is so, evidence. Well, uh, yeah, I think it, there, there are many lawmakers who say they've seen zero evidence of high crimes. But what we just said. Say that they have. But they've, to impeach somebody, you need direct evidence of misconduct by Joe Biden. Look, Hunter Biden, it sure looks like he traded on his name. And he's going to have plenty with, of time With his today. dad, the he's role gonna, his dad has played Brian, is key. We're going to have plenty of time, the Republicans are, to ask him a million questions. It will be interesting to hear what he has to say, but right now, you know, uh, according to Republicans, there's no... What some, Republicans? Some some Republicans say they've got the goods on Hunter Biden and Joe Biden, but a number of Republicans who I've spoken to on Capitol Hill say there's no direct evidence of misconduct by the current president. It's the, so, they're the, just so corrupt. This that whole is, thing so is so unbelievable. Corrupt. It's amazing listening to Doug Ducey talk to his panel. They're like children on the playground after losing a flag football game, claiming that the refs fixed the game. You have a motivated Republican Party here, a party that wants more than anything to find dirt on Joe Biden, so much so that their star witness is a Russian agent who is exploiting that desire to find dirt on Joe Biden by making it all up. And how does Fox respond? Their hosts have the audacity to disregard even the Republicans' own findings of nothing and say, well, I think there's evidence. This is so corrupt. These people live in an alternate reality and feed their viewers spoonfuls of alternative facts all day long. So when the actual truth comes out, the truth in real reality, not the Fox MAGA reality that's been carefully constructed to appease paranoid bigots, they're not able to handle it. Now, here's what Congressman Swalwell had to say after they finished with their questioning of Hunter Biden today in a clip that was actually allowed to air, not on Fox News. But what's really embarrassing, and I use the word secondhand embarrassment because that's what we witnessed in there, is they're so desperate to humiliate the president that they started asking the president's son personal details about a divorce that happened almost 10 years ago. That's where this has been reduced to. And they're doing all this, by the way, when we're just days away from the government shutting down. We're critically, critically in need of funding for Ukraine, the humanitarian crisis over in the Middle East, and more security and a broader immigration plan in this country. They're wasting time, squandering an opportunity to do that because they've never accepted Joe Biden as the president. And now, in this last Hail Mary effort, they're going to try uh, and pull off something. I promise you, pass this prologue. It's not going to work. Republican priorities, folks. 
Let's go after the president's son with baseless information that has no connection to the president or reality for that matter when the country hangs in the balance on the verge of a government shutdown and our allies are in desperate need of our help. This isn't going anywhere. Republicans know it isn't going anywhere, but they need to placate their base and at least pretend that they're doing something given they killed the bipartisan border deal that they asked for and then killed the foreign aid supplemental that they also asked for. Here's what Rep. Jared Moskowitz from Florida had to say after the Hunter hearing this morning. Uh, let me just say that I think my colleagues and I are witnessing the death of the fake, faux, frivolous Joe Biden uh, impeachment inquiry. In fact, as a Jewish American, when this is over, I will say mourners Kaddish for uh, this impeachment inquiry. There has been no evidence on Joe Biden from the beginning. There has been no evidence so far uh, in this deposition linking uh, Joe Biden is all. So as Jay-Z said, grand opening, grand closing. Thank you. And here's what Republican Congressman Ken Buck had to say on Newsmax, of all places, after he was grilled for saying on CNN what everyone knows. There is no evidence here. Start off, and I want to ask you, um, uh, the point of that segment and, and what Caitlin was trying to do there was to get a Republican to admit that this entire thing about Joe Biden is just a ruse. Um, you played into that pretty effectively. I want to ask you why you did that. Well, Rob, I didn't play into anything. She asked me about a particular allegation that was made that uh, Smirnoff made that Joe Biden received $5 million. Um, that particular allegation is not credible at this point in time. So there is no evidence that Joe Biden received money. Um, when, when Senator Johnson talks about the Biden crime family and talks about the Don of the Biden crime family, um, there, you have to have evidence that Joe Biden received money or took some act specifically as a result of Hunter Biden receiving uh, money from these various uh, countries. Again, why are Republicans continuing to play this frivolous game of political theater? Because they want to distract their base from the fact that they are killing legislation that they themselves want or at least claim to want, like border security, in order to help Donald Trump politically. They are refusing to act and refusing to legislate because they think that helping America solve its problems is bad for their politics. Here's what Fox News' chief political correspondent, Britt Hume, had to say about that. Look, think of what the Republicans are doing, for example, uh, Kevin, uh, on the border issue. They said that they wouldn't pass aid to Ukraine and other places unless there was action on the border. So the Senate produced a bill negotiated by one of its most conservative Republican members on the border, which had some defects in it, as compromise measures always do. Mm -hmm. And it was nonetheless the strongest border protection bill that I've seen in my time in Washington. And, it, uh, and, the, and the House simply announced it was not going to take it up, so it failed even in the Senate. Britt Hume, Fox News' chief political correspondent, lifelong partisan Republican, stating the obvious. Republicans are simply refusing to govern. Here's Congressman Bob Good, a Republican from Virginia, explicitly stating just that. We should just refuse to govern. Uh, but the more this government does, the worse it is for the American people. Uh, we shouldn't be joining hands with Democrats just to show we can govern or we can get things done, no matter how harmful to the American people. Even if that what leads to, to a do, partial right? government shutdown. Well, the government shutdown is not ideal, but it's not the worst thing. Yeah, government shutdown's not ideal, but it's not the worst thing. Not as bad as working with Democrats to do anything of substance for the American people. A remarkable comment from a person I am frankly stumped as to how he got in Congress. But this is who the Republicans have become. They'd rather America fail than do anything of substance with the Democrats. And the only way they will change is if they get absolutely destroyed at the ballot box in November. That's really the only way any of this changes. They need to suffer an overwhelming and humiliating defeat that forces them to reorganize as a party. With Really American, I'm Justin Horowitz. Like, subscribe, set notifications. We've got a ton planned going into the election, so help us build the new media ecosystem this country desperately needs. Thanks.